Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Denis, Bishop, and his companions who are all martyrs for the faith. And so as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the Sacred Eucharist this morning, we first call to mind our sins and turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who sent St. Dennis and his companions to preach your glory to the nations and strengthen them for their mission with the virtue of constancy and suffering, grant, we pray, that we may imitate them in disdaining prosperity in this world and being undaunted by any trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham, who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law or under the curse, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not preserve in doing all the things written in the book of the law, and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith will live, but the law does not depend on faith, rather The one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us for the curse by the law of becoming a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Majesty and glory are his work and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. A 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges." But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put it in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a lot to say about this. I'm going to try to be very careful with my words so we don't misunderstand. St. Denis was the first bishop of Paris, and he and his companions were martyred. And it was on, if you've ever been in Paris, the hilltop Montmartre is the mountain of martyrs. Um, There are those that see France today kind of as a much more secular country. It was a very Catholic country at one time. And then now it is much more secular. Montmartre, the the Mount of Martyrs, people willing to die for their faith, is more of a tourist attraction than a place of pilgrimage. It is more a cultural icon than a place of worship. And I think we can see how it would be possible for our country to head in that direction of churches becoming more just something pretty to look at rather than a place of prayer and a place of worship. Now, one way to look at this is to see ourselves as being uh, victims or that we need to build our walls higher and keep them out. The other way is to uh, open our doors and go on the offensive and go out and shower the world with love and truth and understanding. Obviously, the way I'm speaking, I'm for the second path. We can't view ourselves as victims. We can't view ourselves as we have to hide. That we go out and show the world what our love is. We go out and show the world what our faith is. Even if it comes to the point of oppression, if it comes to the point of misunderstanding, the point of attack, to the point of martyrdom. We do not act in revenge. We do not act in retaliation. We do not hide as victims. But we go out and we show the rest of our culture and our world what it means to be people of faith, of moral, of truth. That we follow the way of Jesus Christ no matter where it leads. And so if there is fear, that's okay. But we have the spirit. If there is frustration with the way things are, that's okay. Because we have the spirit to guide us. But we don't make choices based on our fear and we don't make choices based on frustration. We make choices based on truth. We make choices based on love. 
There are evil spirits, there are unclean spirits, and they like to be together. And so like seeks out like, and those that think they're choosing well but know that it's really not good want other people around them that they can agree with, and they can all agree together that what they are doing is right. But as church, we gather together, not to point the finger and accuse, but we gather together to show the way of love, that we are not victims, that we are proud Catholics, that we are proud Christians, that we have gathered together strengthened by the Eucharist and will face any assault that comes our way, not by building our walls higher, but by relying on the power of Christ to protect us and to spread the message of love throughout the world. And so let us join together as the body of Christ and offer our prayers to our loving Father. For the Church, may all her members be strengthened by the Holy Spirit and the universal call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may God guide them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those oppressed by sin, may Christ's mercy and forgiveness bring them healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the souls of all the deceased, especially our brother Leonard Vernon Waters, the intention of this Mass, and especially those who have died who have been forgotten, Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers and our hearts to you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dennis and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Though many, we are one bread, one body, for we all partake of the one bread and one chalice. And to make your spiritual communion from afar, afar, please repeat after me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished 
by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.